User-centered design is the design philosophy of putting the user first. The things to consider with user-centered design are who, what, and where. First, who. Who is this app for? And be specific about it. Are the people who are using your app students? Are they married? Do they have children? Do they like donuts? And then what? What do these people want to do? What's the purpose of your design? Finally, you want to think about exactly where the person is who's going to be using your app. Are they going to be using this while riding on the bus, in the grocery store, at home? All of these things will determine the type of functionality your app should possess and how your app is designed. Your audience, the purpose, and the context, the who, what, and where, are the fundamentals of user-centered design. Mobile-first design is the idea of thinking of a web app in terms of a mobile app and then scaling up the design functionality for larger devices. Keep in mind, because we're developing a web application, it will be fully capable of running on a desktop browser as well as on a smartphone. In the early days of the mobile web, we used to talk about an idea called graceful degradation. The idea behind graceful degradation is that you would start with a full-size website and design it in such a way that it would still work okay on mobile devices. The problem with graceful degradation is that all of the code for the full-size app still loads whether you're viewing the site on a flip phone or a supercomputer. It's very wasteful. The modern approach to web app design is called progressive enhancement. In progressive enhancement, you start with the mobile design and add features for larger or more capable devices. Progressive enhancement avoids the loading of unnecessary features and code for devices that can't display them. Now let's talk specifically about the app we're going to build in this course. A to-do list app is perhaps one of the simplest but most useful apps you can make. We're going to add a little twist to our to-do app and turn it into a game. We're going to assign points to tasks. For this class, we're going to start very simple. Each task will be worth one point. Remember that developing an app should be an iterative process. Start with the most basic functionality and then add on features as they're needed or useful.